Today, I am going to install this brake sensor into my BMW. I'm going to show you quickly how it works. So usually you're going to use this on your race car or some car that, a hot rod or some car that doesn't have the OEM sensor. So let's say that this, this is the connector because we're not going to be able to show in the car. So this is the light bulb and we have positive and negative. The negative goes to the car so it's grounded here. This is the battery negative goes to the car ground here and then the positive goes to this here of course there's a fuse and all that stuff but it goes in here and it's passing through when the button is like this so the light is going to be on when you let the brake go the top of the brake is going to press this button and this is going to cut when it cuts the light goes off when it opens the light goes on so this is how it works bmw instead of creating something that is so simple like this it sends some ohms from one side to the other i might be using the wrong term but when that happens some other circuit triggers the brake light since i'm not using the ecu from the bmw i this is my drift car and i use that ecu up there which is called Speedy EFI. This is also not a BMW because it also has a 2JZ in it. It's uh, using a BMW shell. So I had all the BMW parts. I couldn't use nothing. Not, no dash, no nothing. Because everything is controlled by something that's controlled by the ECU and so on. All right, let's put it in the car. Let's get, put some color in here first. And this is why. So I know that all of this got to be covered. Now, I'm going to remove that because this is not OEM, so it doesn't work straight out of the box. I have this spacer here which fits properly, perfectly. So I'm going to put my spacer right there. So this is, of course, you can use anything. You can use another nut. And now we are going to get this nut again and we are going to tighten. But this we're going to tighten in there now. Here we go. We put it in there. So let me see. Put my nut in there. There you go. Oof. All right, so finally done. I have extra wires because I still got to tuck in, but I got this positive here, and I put a 10 amp fuse and a connector like this. So I crimped this in there, and I also got the two sides. The BMW, one side is black and blue, the other one is black and green. I got them all together and I'm going to just plug in there. But for now, if I just do like this, so you look back there, see through the hole, look. And then there we have, look, I'm going to step on the brake. There. And we have the light. Oh, brake, no brake, brake, no brake. <laughs> Hope this helps you if you're building a hot rod. If you're building a hot rod or your drift car or whatever it is, I just bought this. I'm gonna put the link here in the description I got on Amazon. I think it's for a S10 or something like that. Um, but anyway, anything that has two holes in there, which is not two poles, two connectors. Um, one goes through the other when the button is released. So good to go. Later.